Hey, hey, it's Donnie A. Today we're gonna to talk about learning all the notes on your fretboard. You don't need to memorize all the notes on your fretboard, but you need to be able to find the notes on your fretboard. And if you're playing a note, you need to be able to figure out how to find out what that note is. And we're gonna go over some springboards and stuff later in this lesson that you should really stick around for and it's gonna make it super easy to figure out what note you're playing. And what I like to think of this as is like, if you, if you have a, um, a problem at work and you don't know how to solve it, you don't need to know all the answers off the top of your head, but you need to know how to use your resources and how to figure out the answers to your problem. So it's just like that on the fretboard. What you, need to, what you need to have as a basic understanding for this is just the musical alphabet. You need to know how to go through the musical alphabet from, from A to G sharp, and you need to know that there is no B sharp, it goes from B to a C. There is no E sharp, so it goes from E to F. And with that knowledge, you can figure out all the notes on your fretboard. We're gonna start on the low E string. This is the most important string to know to know all the notes on, but you don't need to memorize all the notes on your low E string either. What you need to do is just know the notes at your fret markers. So obviously it's an E string, we're in standard tuning, and that means it's E is your open note. And if it's an E with your musical alphabet, you know that your first fret, which is a half step away from your E, is an F. So with that knowledge of the musical alphabet, you can find your F immediately. And then you need to know that you have a G on your third fret, an A on your fifth fret, a B on your seventh fret, and then with that B, you have a C a half step away. So you have a C at your eighth fret. So that's not at a fret marker, but you can quickly find that. At your ninth fret, you have a C sharp. And if you have a C sharp, then one step away, or a half step away, I mean, is gonna be a D. And then it all repeats on your 12th fret, you're at the E again. So you don't need to know that a G sharp is on your fourth fret of your low E string. What you need to know is that you have a G on your third fret, you have an A on your fifth fret, and with just process of elimination, you can figure out that your G sharp is at your fourth fret. Because you go find, okay, I need to play a G sharp. I don't know where that is. Go find your G, which you know, you need to memorize that. And then just go a half step, half step up the neck and you'll find your G sharp. And with knowing how to find the notes on your low E string, you can use a springboard off of that. But we're gonna get into that in a little bit. By knowing all the notes on your low E string, you can now find the scales that you wanna play and you can find your, your six string bar chords up the neck that you wanna play. So you really need to know your low E string. And then if we're gonna to jump to our A string, our A string is the same thing. You need to know your A string so you can play your, your fifth string bar chords um, up and down the neck when you start playing bar chords. That's, that's the main reason. So you start with an A, obviously, in your open position. And then you need to know at your third fret, you have a C. Well, if you have a C at your third fret, you need to know that if you go back a half step, you have your B there. So there's another natural note on your second fret. But if we keep moving up from the C on your third fret, you have a D at your fifth fret. You have an E at your seventh fret. And then with that E, just like the B, U, a C, you need to go up a half step and you get to your F. That F is on the eighth fret of your A string. And then you have an F sharp, which is a non-natural note on your ninth fret at the fret marker. And then if you have that F sharp, you know if you go up a half step, you're gonna be at G. And then going up to the 12th fret, it all starts over at A again. Same thing, you can find your, your sharps and flats in between the notes that you know at your fret markers. And use those to know, know your fret markers, know your land markers, find those, and then find your sharps and flats in between there. That's a great way to do this. And then your D and G string, you don't need to memorize anything on your D and G string if you don't want to. Uh, there really is no point until you get further down the line, but when you're starting out, there's, there's no point to know what any of the notes on your D and G string is because you know your E and your A string. And these are the springboards that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The springboard is, say you have a, you have a note here 
Ooh. on your D string at your fifth fret, and you want to know what that note is. Well, your springboard, if you go, if you go down two frets, so now you're at the third fret, and then you go down two strings to your low E string. Well, you know you have a G on your third fret of your low E string. So with that springboard, from this direction, we'd go up two strings. So now you're on your D string, and then you go up two frets. And then you're at your fifth fret of your D string, that's a G again. So that's your springboard, is go down two strings, down two frets, and it's gonna be an octave. That is an octave of the major scale. So you have your major scale starting on the G on the third fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is your one again. So with that springboard, it works any, any note on the E and D string. You can figure out the D string by knowing what's on your E string and you can, you can back into it or you can work down from your E string. So this springboard also works between the A string and the G string. If you have a note on your seventh fret of your G string and you wanna know what it is, go down two frets back towards the nut and then down two strings and you're back at your A string and you remember from your fret marker that you have a D at the fifth fret of your A string. So by using this little springboard, you can find out that you have a D at the seventh fret of your G string. Same thing, repeating pattern all over the neck as your major scale. And that major scale, you're at, a, you're at an octave of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only place this changes is the B string. The B string's tuned a half step down from all the other strings. And with that knowledge, you, there is another springboard you can use. And your springboard is off of your D string. And your springboard is, say if you know you're known on a D string is, you have this G note on the fifth fret of your D string. Well, if you go up two strings, you're at your B string now. And then instead of going up two frets, we go up three frets because it's tuned down a half step. So you go up three frets. So your G is at the eighth fret on your B string. It's also a major, major scale octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can use that springboard. Obviously you don't know, you may not know the notes on your D string. So you, you would have to back into this. Say if you had a note, you had a note here on your 10th fret of your B string, you'd have to go down three frets, up two strings, now you're at your seventh fret on your D string. Well, you may not know what that is, so then you have to use that springboard back to the low E string to figure it out. And then you realize that that is an A note. So you have an A note on your fifth fret of your low E, you have an A note at your seventh fret of your D, and you have an A note at the 10th fret of your B string. I'd also recommend once you get, once you get more familiar with the fretboard, just, just just memorize the notes on your B string. And it's same thing at the fret marker. As you start learning uh, triads, if you get into that, then you can know where your, your B string rooted triads are, which is really helpful. But even before that, if you have the form four of your pentatonic scale, uh, the root note of that form four of the major pentatonic is gonna be on your B string. So if you're down here, we talked about the 10th fret is in, of your B string is an A. You have your form four right under that as well. Just a little, a little tip and trick to know. And then the last thing is the high E string. And the high E string, if you know the notes on your low E string, you know the notes on your high E string because it's the same, it's the same string. You'll be able to figure out all the notes on your fretboard with these springboards, and it's definitely something you need to know. And 
In another lesson, I wanna show you a cool shape that repeats around the fretboard that's gonna help you out a lot. And it looks like this. But I'm not gonna give you any more in this lesson. You're gonna have to go watch that one. If you like this lesson, please hit subscribe. Thanks, talk to you soon.